If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand the concept of hyperbola. Let's understand it quickly that what is hyperbola and how it differs from the other types of conics that we have discussed in our previous lectures. As it is basically hyperbola is a type of conics just like circle, ellipse and parabola. And how it is formed, let's see, as we have already discussed uh, it also in our, in, our, in our lecture where we have introduced the conic section and all the, all the four types of conics that how they are formed. But let's have a short overview of it here again and then we will see how it differs from the rest of the conics. So it is uh, how it is formed, it, as it is written here that it is formed by the intersection of a plane and a double cone in a way that the plane does not pass through the apex. Now, do, what does it mean? Let's start uh, uh, discussing it as if we have a plane like this, this is a plane and two cones are placed one above the other in a way like this and we intersect this plane with the in a way that this plane does not pass through the apex. Apex is basically this point. Cones are pl uh, placed one above the other and the uh, plane is intersecting the two cones in such a way that it does not pass through the apex that is the point at which the two cones are meeting with each other and one more thing is it should be parallel to the axis of the, the cone now what is the axis this is basically this is the axis of the cone so it should cut the uh, two cones in such a way that it is that the plane is parallel to the axis of the uh, 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 parallel to the axis so the shape or the section that we will get is hyperbola just like circle ellipse and parabola that we have discussed in our previous lectures so this is basically the how it will be made uh, just like other conics so now let's discuss what how it differs from the rest of the conics in its uh, shape if we uh, if we draw it in the coordinate axis as uh, uh, here we have the three types of uh, of the conics other than the circle uh, for your uh, clear understanding that how they differ from each other that uh, how uh, hyperbola differ from parabola and ellipse uh, if we draw them in the coordinate axis so first of all we have a parabola uh, it, we have uh, discussed that uh, we have discussed in definition of the of the parabola that basically parabola is formed by the set of points in, in such a way that the distance of the point P, if I say this is a point P here, and its distance from the focus is equal to its distance to the directrix. We have discussed these things in our previous lecture in detail. So this is just a short overview. So it means a parabola for a parabola, we have the form as PF equals to PM. M is the point on directrix. So uh, uh, and P, uh, P2 f and p to m the, uh, the, they should, the distance should be the same then the shape that we will get will is the parabola then in case of ellipse what we have was if we have any point p and then an ellipse is formed by the set of points if the condition that is that is required to be met is if the point uh, if the distance from the point p to the focus f dash and the distance to the point of the point P to the other focus as there are two foci in the in the ellipse uh, then if we add this distance it should be equal to if to the another point if we take another point and take its distance like this so these distances should be same so if we write it in the mathematical form it this is point P1 point P2 so it means P1 F dash plus P1 F means the distance of the point P from from the two foci if we add them together should be equal to the distance of the point P2 from the two foci should be equal so this is the condition that is required for an ellipse to be formed as uh, we have discussed in our previous lectures in details in detail now how hyperbola differs from the parabola and ellipse is here again we have two foci in the hyperbola as in case of ellipse but the condition here that is required for, for hyperbola is if we take any point P, if we take any point P here, then its distance from the from one foci, when subtracted from the distance of another foci, 
it should be equal if we take another point if it is p1 then we take another point as p2 and take its, di its distance from one foci to the the difference of the distance of one foci to the other foci then it should be equal so how we can write it in mathematical form is let's see it means p1 f dash minus p1 f should be equals to p2 f dash minus p2 f so this is the condition that is required for the hyperbola as compared to the ellipse and parabola so uh, basically hyperbola it is basically a set of all points in a plane such that the difference of whose distances now this is one point this is another point this is for p1 this is for p2 and the difference of its distances from the two fixed points that is two for psi it should be a positive constant or it should be equal to each other so this is how the hyperbola differs from the ellipse and the parabola let's write its definition as well so the definition of hyperbola in terms of uh, coordinate axis if we draw it into the coordinate axis is set of all points in a plane such that the difference of whose distances from two fixed points called for psi is a positive constant so we have taken only two points p1 and p2 so it means set of all points where whatever point we will take then if we take its difference of distance from two for psi it uh, should be equal to a positive constant constant or it should be equal to each other it means their distances will be same so this is how the hyperbola is defined and formed and how it differs from the rest of the conates in terms of its definition so that's all from today's lecture thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you